We would like to acknowledge the native people who resided on this land. This includes Pocomtuk, Norwatuk, Waranako, Agawam, Nipmuc, and Abenaki. We honor their stewardship on the land we currently reside. We recognize their existence and contribution to our community. We are undergraduate students conducting research for a natural resource conservation and sustainability class at the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. My name is Dylan Alexander and my favorite bird is a penguin. My name is Nicola Cerda and my favorite bird is a toco toucan. My name is Alice Choi and my favorite bird is dog. My name is Elena Tolput and my favorite bird is a burrowing owl. Our project is called Birdability, which was developed by Mass Audubon to help people with disabilities gain access to nature and birding. People with disabilities are often left out of spaces that engage with nature due to a lack of accessibility. Facilitating access to these spaces, as studies will report, can allow people with disabilities to benefit from the positive impacts on one's physical, mental, and social health that can be attributed to spending time in nature. According to research conducted by the National Library of Medicine, natural environments have a positive impact on human health. One article from the New York Times claims that just being near birdsong improves overall mental well-being. Birdability.org works to ensure the birding community and the outdoors are welcoming, inclusive, safe, and accessible for everybody. Their main goals include improving the physical accessibility of birding locations and trails, empowering a welcoming and inclusive birding community, and introducing people with access challenges to birding. In Massachusetts, there are over 4,000 miles of unpaved recreational trails, but only 7.5 of those miles are universally accessible. That means that if every person with a disability in Massachusetts wanted to hike on the same day, there would be 140,000 people per mile. That is about five times the amount of people living in a mile within New York City, and there are no skyscrapers in nature. We went to two different wilderness sites, Silvio Oconte National Fish and Wildlife Refuge and the Fitzgerald Lake Conservation Area. Following a form put forth by BirdAbility, we analyzed different aspects of the trails to assess the level of their physical accessibility. We looked to see if there were any handy capable bathrooms and parking spots. We measured the width of the trail and saw if there were any inaccessible areas, for example steep gradients or lips, when there were surface changes. We counted the amount of pullout spots for wheelchairs and put all of this information into a form that we submitted to BirdAbility. We also recorded the types of birds we saw and heard using the Merlin ID app put forth by Cornell Lab. We counted nine species of birds, including tree swallows, red-bellied woodpeckers, and rusty blackbirds. Sustainability is a conscious effort to live in alignment to protect the Earth long term. Sustainability is about the legacy we will pass on the future generations. Sustainability leadership is essential because it drives people to be more aware of their life choices and leads to greater practices in nurturing environmental preservation. Our experience with sustainability leadership at BirdAbility taught us the importance of accessibility in nature and bird watching, especially for people with disabilities. We learned how to evaluate trails for physical accessibility and discovered numerous services available to aid individuals with disabilities in assessing the nature environment. Additionally, we utilized an application to record various bird species, which helped us identify which species were represented. Throughout this process, we learned about many new species and even memorized the unique sounds of various birds. It was great to go out to some wilderness sites and see that they had easy accessibility for those with disabilities, although there could be some challenges to those as there were inaccessible parts in these sites. It was fascinating to see and hear all the birds that were surrounding us. We would like to see more wilderness sites provide more accessibility as many people with disabilities deserve to go out in nature, see different wildlife, and endure dopamine. We want to thank the people behind BirdAbility, the Audubon Society, and Merlin ID Lab. Also, thank you Lena for linking us to this project. Thank you for watching.